Before we start, I would like to ask you if you like this video to press like and subscribe button. Thank you. Lockheed Martin unveiled their own lunar lander at the International Aeronautical Congress in Bremen, Germany. Lockheed Martin lunar lander development is in response to NASA's moon strategy, which would see agencies sending astronauts back to the moon by 2026, with plans for permanent manned base on the moon soon after. Lockheed Martin's Orion spacecraft is the backbone of NASA's plans for the Moon. Orion spacecraft will carry NASA astronauts into deep space. However, the versatility of the program will also allow the company to deploy Orion as part of the Moon lander mission as well. The company's proposal for a crewed lunar lander is fairly ambitious. The 14-meter single-stage spacecraft can carry up to four astronauts to the lunar surface where they can stay up to 14 days before the vehicle engines blast it back into lunar orbit. The vehicle would be twice as tall as the lunar module used during the Apollo mission to the moon nearly half a century ago. That vehicle carried two astronauts for a short stays of no more than a few days. There is a lift elevator platform which can take the crew down from the cabin to the surface, which in principle is not dissimilar to another concept the company developed for the Mars-bound lander or MADAF Mars Ascent Descent Vehicle, also quite similar to the concept developed for SpaceX's own Big Falcon spaceship. The lander would have considerable dry mass of 22 metric tons and would require an additional 40 tons of liquid oxygen and hydrogen fuel for its sorties down to the surface of the moon from the proposed lunar gateway. The vehicle's preliminary design uses four modified RL-10 engines, but other engines could be employed. The reusable vehicle could be refueled on the surface of the moon or in the orbit and should be capable of up to 10 flights. The company opted for design for several reasons. Foremost, it is reusable. As NASA Administrator Jim Brandstein has stressed that he would like elements of a lunar program to employ reusability. Basic design of the spacecraft is built around the same barrel and cone structure of the Orion spacecraft, for which Lockheed Martin has already built a tooling needed to build the vehicle together, and also it could reuse some of the Orion's avionics. Also, all of this is within NASA's current technological capability. So, with adequate funding, such a vehicle could be built relatively quickly. And finally, all of the technologies developed for lander, this scale, could be incorporated into humans to Mars exploration program. A similar vehicle, of a similar scale, with similar engine, could perform a powered landing on the Red Planet. The fact that Lander is relatively heavy bears heavily on potential success of the program. Using SLS to bring 40 tons of fuel separately would be costly. However, Blue Origin and SpaceX could also play a part in delivering Lander to the moon, so they'll be a lot cheaper and fully reusable in case of SpaceX BFR system. It is not clear if NASA will require such a large Lander. As mission parameters constantly evolve, this might change. However, agency was looking for smaller lander that would weigh less. Something similar to Blue Origin's Blue Moon lander is what NASA had in mind. If NASA requirements do change, larger lander might be actually ideal, giving Lockheed a bit of a head start. And the fact lander is based on similar Mars-bound Mars Ascent Descent vehicle is a bonus. NASA is yet to decide on the future of Lunar Lander. However, priority for the agency right now is Orion, SLS and Lunar Orbital Platform Getaway program, as funding for these programs is secure and in place. However, securing funding for Lander and any future Mars-bound spacecraft will require further funding. Lockheed Martin, by offering its vision, hopes to secure interest in their Lunar Lander when time comes. After all, Lockheed would already have required technology and demonstrator in place, reducing the overall cost for NASA in the long run.